Sega! And welcome folks, welcome back to another let's play, or rather quick let's play. Today we're going to play Space Harrier, as you can see. Get ready. No, don't start the demo. That's a game that came out originally in 1985. Um, it was an arcade game, or is an arcade game. That means that it was designed to make you maximize the number of coins you put into it. And it is a shooter on rails. No, not like um, Call of Duty, even though it is a shooter. And it is on rails, but it's a different kind of shooter. So without further ado, let's start. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. I'm playing this, by the way, on the... Uh, this is the port for the Sega, Sega uh, 32. 32-bit uh, or whatever it was called. I originally played the Game Gear version of this game. This version came out in 1991. Get ready. I'm not quite sure when I got this, but pretty much 1991 would be the year. I was never really good at it. And I'm still not very good at it. As I will demonstrate to you in this video series. This video series is entitled Let's Quickly Let's Play. And if you don't know what it is, what a quick let's play is, it just means that I do not intend to complete this game. I just want to show off some of uh, the gameplay. I am never going to complete this game because I suck at it. And I decided to do this little um, video series because I wanted a break from my normal schedule. Some little refreshment before I take on my next big project. You're doing great. Um, yes, I'm doing okay, I think. Not great. That next big project is not, has not been decided on yet. Um, or rather, that is not quite true. I have decided on one of the two let's plays that I'm going to start um, very soon. As you know that, as you may know, I always do two let's plays in parallel and then I died. Get ready. Because I was not paying attention to the game. I do that because um, just playing one video game sort of gets um, a recording for one video game can turn into a a chore quite easily and I died again Get ready. what is the price surprise no one yes I completed um, both my let's my sin let's play and my wood of the, sh of the schnibble let's play recently I'm doing not great at all, because I'm almost dead. Shit. Get ready. I correct myself, I am dead. But, never, no matter. Let's just start again. Sega! Sega. I will not play on easy, no way. My channel, um, my let's play of Sin didn't get so many views as of recently. Um, not quite sure what's the cause of that. Maybe it's just a little fluctuation. By the way, I already recorded. Oops. Almost got killed there. I already recorded one hour of gameplay footage for Space Area, but when I checked um, my audio, I noticed something very strange. There was. At first, I thought that my microphone has, had died, but it, as it turns out, whenever I plug in my Xbox 360 controller into my PC, shit. 
get ready. That somehow messes completely messes up my uh, USB system. So whenever I plug in um, in a USB microphone, this microphone has a strange uh, that audio has a strange distortion. It sort of sounds like this. And if I'm not lazy with video editing, then you should have um, heard a sample of how that looks like, of how that sounds like, rather. I don't know what causes, I mean, I know what causes, but I don't know how that, how this distortion actually works out um, in practice. Uh, what's the mechanism behind it, or how I can stop it. My solution now is to record my audio on a completely different computer that is not electrically connected to my PC. And that hopefully, um, shit. Get ready. That hopefully, um, will sort of sort out this issue. And I'm dead again. Get ready. I'm so not ready for this. <sighs> yeah, that's a game where you die very often. And the more you die, the, the more you want to get, get revenge from this game. Of course, when it came out, this game in the year 1985, when it was on an arcade machine, it was really designed to be like that be unforgiving and just keep uh, people shoving coins into this arcade machine. By the way, I recently um, watched the 1999 Games Developer Conference keynote or address or talk, whatever my, uh, you want to call it. Of Shigeru Miyamoto, and he had, a, he, had a, he had a lot of interesting things to say about the um, way Nintendo makes games and how they, this company started. As many of you would probably know, Nintendo um, originally started out as a company producing furniture. I hope this is correct. At least their history, their company history, history goes back more than 100 years. It's really interesting. And they, I think in the 70s, decided um, to start making arcade machines. And Shigeru Miyamoto was basically um, had the um, he was responsible for making these arcade games and for that, designing them in such a way that uh, they would maximize the number of coins that the players would put into them. And then he went on to say how this changed, how instead of maximizing the amount of money they shit, they spent, um, the game companies would... would the game companies would um, try to maximize the amount of time people would play on their consoles. And how that would play the change the game mechanics. It was quite an interesting talk. No, I'm doing horrible. You liar. I'm doing horrible. Yeah, if you if you're interested in gaming and the history of it, then please check out this video. It's very, very... It's quite interesting. It was also interesting to see one idea that they were trying to implement back then. Get ready. Get ready. Uh, so in the year 1997, or what did I say? I think it was Welcome to the, the Get ready. I, I think it was the Games Developer Conference of 1997. 
Yes. So in this year they... Um, or oh, Shigeru Miyamoto was... Um, he was showing also a demo. Not really a game, but some kind of thing that he was trying to... Uh, some idea that he was developing. Namely of... <sighs> Namely... That the idea was that each player could personalize the avatar or that character that he was playing in the game by incorporating a picture of himself. And that picture was, would then be mapped onto that in-game character. And it's very interesting to see that how this idea is now being implemented on the Wii U with this me, um, me stuff. Yeah. Okay, and I wonder how much, how much, how many, how much time I have left. I have three minutes left. And looking on my watch just caused, caused me to lose one life. But there you go. No, I'm doing not great. I am horrible at this game. I don't think I will ever get past stage 3 in this game, or at least in this quick let's play. In my last recording session, which unfortunately I can't uh, show you, because my audio is absolutely horrible, I managed to get to the boss of stage 3, but that was pretty much it. And then I, yeah, I only got to the boss. Oh, wrong decision. Should have gone to the left. Um, should have gone to the left. And it's this boss again. Uh. Stop saying that I'm doing great. I'm doing horrible. Do not die And this game music Is always the same Even though in the menu it says you could change it Sega! Sega! Yeah, one thing I should say I should mention maybe um, That I'm playing this game In an emulator probably already guessed that since I said that I plugged in an Xbox 360 controller into my PC. I'm playing this game on the with the Kiga Fusion emulator that is spelled K-E-G-A and then Fusion. It's a fantastic piece of software. It can run Game Gear, um, Game Gear ROM, ROMs, Genesis ROMs or Mega Drive depending whatever they are. However you want to call this uh, console. So Genesis, Game Gear 32, or and then some other, or, yeah, the Master System also. So it supports a great variety of consoles. And my timer has gone up. But that doesn't mean that this quick let's play is over. It just means that this episode is over. And when we come back, folks, we are back. So until next time, folks, until then.